Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Subnautica. So, we actually found out how to get this said powder that we've been looking for, and it turns out we have to kill the vagina monsters. And I'm scared to do so. Um, I have the medical kits with me, and we're just gonna go for it. We really just need that powder to in order to uh, repair our pod. Also, the, the pod that I found in the last episode, you guys said that I could use those little pink things that I found on that little rock, in order to raise the pod to, like, uh, the, the roof of the water. I don't know why I can't think of, like, a proper term for that. Um, and then I can loot it. So, I might do that today if I can remember where the pod was. Um, and we're also gonna have to go hunt for some vagina monsters. Uh, that's what I call them, at least. And also, when I kill a fish, I'm supposed to gather on the ground by hitting it even more with a knife. Uh, I guess that's how you get the powder. I'm not really sure. So we're going to be going around in this area. Waiting for one of those vagina monsters to make one of those <laughs> noises. I think this is one right here. Yeah, hello. What a bitch. Okay, so it did that. And now what I think we need to do is collect the crash powder like that. We pretty much, I think you just need to run from those. I don't think you can actually kill them. I think they just fly in and blow up on you. So next time I'll probably just run away from that. But we do have the powder. It was inside the thingy. The little vagina lips. And we should be good. All right, let's go back. Let's create, I think I have everything. I think I needed more salt. And I remember some people were giving me tips on how to find salt, but they all seemed pretty just like flat out. Like you just gotta look for it. And I was like, okay. Well, here's some right here. Look at that. I think that actually brings us to three salt, if I'm not mistaken. I think I put some of it away. Also about to be nighttime, so I do not want to be out here at all. Let's go back inside. Hello, hello. Hello, home. How are you? And let's go ahead and get something going. So, tool-wise, we need magnesium. Which was the three salt, I believe, right? salt deposits. I think I might have put them in here. Whoops. We're good. We're good. Open. There we go. I just like flipped the life pot around on accident. And now we can create the welder. Oh, we need to create the magnesium first and then we can create the welder. Magnesium. And then we got ourselves the... What is that copper wire? The welder. So bada bing bada boom, just like that, we have ourselves the welder, which repairs this. I don't know what repairing this even does. Okay. I did open the wrong way. That's weird. I think we're fully repaired now, right? A new message has Playing message. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, nine, 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 nine hours. Well, that's a really long time. That's not cool. Anything else to repair? This looks like it needs to be repaired, but I don't think it is going to be. All right, let's go at the top. Hello, really massive moving moon. I... Don't make noises at me like that. It makes me want to go back inside my little cage. All right, we need to get ourselves some water going. I don't know if I had any water left over in here. Uh, but I think we're going to have to go find ourselves. I'm actually going to eat that. Um, we'll eat both and we're going to go get some water. Which I think we just need salt for bleach. Is that what it was? I'm pretty sure. But I'd rather do the little... Whoa, getting a little bit of lag from loading something in. We just need the little puffy fish to be honest. 
And I believe the puffy fish colony was somewhere not down there. Not over there. I think it was over this way, actually. I feel like I'm really slow and I need to get the sea moth going. I think that's what we're going to have to do this episode. It's definitely one of the objectives. I just feel I just feel really slow swimming around, even with these little flippers on. Here's one. We just need one to hold us over for now. Hello. Oop. Go ahead and get some water going. Here we go. Filtered water. Vital signs. Ah, there we go. I'll grab any that I find in the area, but for right now, actually, I need to just check what the sea glide is going to take to build. That's going to be pretty important. Sea glide. So we need a battery. Lubricant and copper wire. I know I can already create copper wire. Copper wire right there. All right, so now we need a battery. Which I'm assuming right here. Two acid mushrooms and a copper ore. We just use our copper ore. Our ore is not gonna be hard to find. We can go to that little tube that we were in before. And then what else did we need? We need one other item. We needed a uh, lubricant, which is probably easy to make, to be honest. Lubricant is creep vine cluster. Oh, God, I hate going to the creep vines. It's scary over there, especially at night. But we have to. But we have to. It is part of our quest. All right, we're going to go over the creep vine. Oh, hey, little, little puffer guy. I think this is one of the ones that I dropped that was uh, rotten. Yeah. We're going to go over the creep vines. We're going to get three creep vines for the lubricant. I think the tube is down there for us to get copper. So we can kill two birds with one stone. Oh, just loading in a portion of the map. I need some kind of... Uh, I, by the way, the rifle that I was talking about last episode, I believe it was last episode, is the stasis rifle. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. I think I might be able to actually kill him with the knife just by flat out going to town. But at the same time, I don't think I really want to even try. I just need to find some of that creep vine goodies. I found them really easy before, but I'm only seeing them pretty far out there right now. I'm not seeing any close. There's actually a fragment down there that I should really go for. It's scary as fuck in here, man. Creep vine's good for food. I know that. We need more clusters. Oh, laggy lag. There we go. We got three creep vine. There's another pod right there. With like a chest next to it. We'll keep that in mind for when we actually feel like coming down here. I'm going to go down there and scan those items real quick. But we're going to get air first. Mainly because it's just in the creep vine area. And I personally haven't been in the creep vine area yet. So I'm just hoping that it actually gives me stuff that I don't have yet. Like the submarine. I'm pretty sure you pretty much just need the submarine to come into the creep vine area. I just don't know the power of the knife yet. I haven't, like, tried it. See, vehicle bay fragment. This might be another vehicle bay fragment. Yep. We got 66%. That's not awful. This actually might be the last piece. Yep. We got three pieces right there. Boom. Vehicle bay can now be created. We can get out of here before one of those creepy fucks comes to get us. So we got vehicle bear fragments. We got enough creep vine. And I wanted to kill two birds with one stone and see if we can get ourselves some copper over here in that little tunnel. I'm starting to get pretty productive. Starting to get pretty productive. I'm kind of learning the area. I'm able to get a lot of the stuff done pretty quickly. I'm also coming out of my comfort zone when it comes to going into the creep vine area after those barracuda looking motherfuckers. 
So yeah, it's, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. Hello, elephant of the sea. How are you? We really should go up, get air, and then come back down. There's another fragment. I'm pretty sure I've already scanned that before. All right, going down. Oh my, I'm sorry, I got close to you. Oh, 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 ow, ow, ow. So I could pick those up, I think. I just got a little close to him and he got a little upset, so he pooped. No copper, really? I was just expecting the first one to give me copper, to be honest. There you go, got copper. I should get a little bit more though. Nope, okay. What I really need is water again. I do really need water again. I'm sorry, I'm getting close to you again. I'm down to that creep vine area, there's a lot of those guys. I'm just so slow, man. All right, let's go back, craft the sea glide, then we'll get water. I think you just start slowly losing health when you're out of water. But if I have the sea glide, I can just go, you know? I don't have to wait. All right. Let's go ahead and make the lubricant. There we are. And Sea Glide just needs a battery, right? And we have enough for the battery. Acid mushrooms. Okay, that's easy as hell. Uh, two acid mushrooms. Just a whole bunch of the ones that I dropped down here. I might be able to craft the rotten fish into water. I'm going to grab it just in case. No, I don't think you'll be able to. Not even worth a try, really. It's kind of a waste of time. We do need to get water, though. I could go hit some creep vines real quick just to up it and then grab them on the way back. That's probably what I'll do. Severe I understand that. I understand that. Leave me alone. Don't stress me out. Battery. And now, sea glide. All right. And now we're so much faster. Thank God. Oh, it's got like a little scanner telling you like how deep it gets in certain areas. That's pretty cool. So we're going to go down here. Go up to a creep vine. Yeah, look how slow I am compared to that. And this is just infinite food. Oh, it goes, it actually disappears. Didn't realize that, okay. And go down here, this is where I saw a lot of those uh, little air fishes. Some more copper ore right there. Here's the pod, I want to investigate that in a little bit. I need the little air fishes. Hello? Little air fishes. Uh, loading in a good portion of the map right there. Emergency. Severe dehydration. I understand that I have severe dehydration. Take immediately. I need these little guys. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh shit, oxygen too. That's fine. Do the sea glide to get up really fast. I saw another one. There's another one. Close by. Alright. Another one. Another one. Alright. This should fill up uh, us up on water, no problem. I know I have to craft like new batteries for this if I use it too much. I'm pretty much just going to use it all the time though. <laughs> There's no point in not using it all the time. There's another little floaty guy. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of water going. It seems like you need to drink a lot more than you need to eat, which I guess makes sense in real life as well. So, All right. Head back, make a ton of water. Drink all of it until we're full. And then we're going to go check out that life pod. And there was also a... Um, there was one of those little uh, balls with the little floaty pink things on them. 
that you, that you guys said I could actually raise the life pods to the roof of the water with it. So I'm going to do that if I can. There's also that buoyancy thing that I was seeing. Let me see what you actually need to craft. It could be easy to craft them. Vital signs stabilizing. Warning. Blood loss detected. Blood loss detected? What did I just eat? Did I eat something on accident? I drink water too fast? I don't know. Okay. We're full though. Um, what are those little buoyancy things, right? Here. Air bladder. Silicone rubber and an air sac. Silicone is fine clusters okay I think I can manage that if the pink thing doesn't work all right I think the pink thing was bouncing around where I don't remember where I was okay that's those guys we went off to the right more because it was safer is much safer than the other zone. The pink thing was bouncing around over here. I believe. Not sure where it went now. But that's fine. We can do the buoyancy thing. It's not hard for us to do that. We got ourselves an air sac. And then we're going to take this out here and get some creep vine clusters hopefully nothing attacks us there's one of those things right there we're out of here see you later caution 30 seconds of oxygen remaining that's fine i'm just trying to lickety split all right and then we're going to create one of those buoyancy sacks and we're gonna bring that life pod up to the ocean top. And then we should be good. I think that's what people were telling me to do. And I guess if I probably do one of those buoyancy things in there, it'll probably work. I might save before, just in case I kind of bug something out. <laughs> There's a chance that, you know, launching something to the roof of the ocean could lead to some uh, laggy things to happen. All right, all right. We needed silicone rubber, which we have now. And then we needed to make one of those buoyancy thingies. Was it here? Was it here? There it is. Air bladder. I don't know if this actually works the way I need, want it to. Where is it? Chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for personal buoyancy. So if I use personal buoyancy inside a life pod, will it go up with me? I don't know. We're going to eat that, though. Um, I don't know if that's actually what we're supposed to do. I highly doubt it. Let's go ahead and grab our cell. I wanted to... I forget what I was going to do. Okay, just save real quick. That's what I was going to do. Just to make sure that we're all good to go. What I really want is that that pink rock that I found with the pink little bubbles on it. That's all I care about. Well, we're going to go down to the life pod nonetheless. What, do you, what are you? Sea glide fragment. Oh, it's one of those things. I don't want to deal with that right now. It was down here, correct? Here it is. I don't know what I get from it. This is life pod 19. Is there a way for me to get in? There is. Okay. Did it work? Okay, something bugged out. Oh, I... What? Alright, yeah, something just didn't work. It just didn't allow me to do what I was trying to do. Alright, let's go find that pink bubble rock. It was in this area. I remember on the way back. I should have grabbed it on the way back when I saw it, but I was so stressed out about my water situation. 
In order to recharge this, do I have to, like, add another battery to it, I'm pretty sure? So, we should start looking for some more copper. I think I already found some, though. Um... I'm not seeing that buoyancy thing. Kind of misplaced where it was. I think it ended up falling down. I guess we could just look for another one. I don't think it's really an issue for us to look for another one. Yeah, let's just go look for another one. Might as well. What are you? Solar panel fragment. We haven't really been out this way. Whoa, okay. Something a little bigger going on over here. What is this? This is a piece of the ship. It has to be, right? I don't know if I could bring this to the surface, though. I highly doubt it. Oh, there's a door. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. All right, let's go to the surface, get some air back first. This is kind of cool. I don't know what it is, but... Probably a piece of the mothership. Fully assuming. Alright, another door for us to open. Whoa. Okay, we didn't even have to open those doors, but alright. Night time approaches. A whole bunch of lockers, some old tables. open to access, right? Welder? Welder? Nope. Not sure what we have to use to open that. Well, let me know in the comment section what we need to use to open that, because that's kind of cool. I like that. Kind of just looks cool. I don't want to stay around an unfamiliar area, uh, area at night. Um... I need to find some of those little pink bubble things to start raising a lot of the stuff to the surface. That buoyancy thing bugged. I think I right-clicked it instead of clicking it, which I don't think would have worked anyway because it said personal buoyancy. I think that's mainly for, like, an escape route if something's attacking you that you know you can't kill. You just need to get to the surface quick to get the fuck out of there. No vagina monsters. I don't want to deal with you right now. But, yeah, we're going to have to get another battery for this already. It's going to be quite obnoxious every time we have to do that. So let's head on in. Thank you guys for swinging by today's episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.